Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to discuss about the books that I've studied in my final year of BPT examination. I've studied my BPT from NIAE under WBUHS, that is West Bengal University of Health Sciences. In our final year examination, we had five or you know for to be more precise seven, seven subjects. The first was orthopedics, second neuro, third medicine and pediatrics, fourth surgery and gynecology, fifth DPR, that is disability prevention and rehabilitation. Now, if I go through the subjects first, in orthopedics, it's a huge syllabus I must say. So I have followed most books in this subject. So let's start, right? The main book that I followed you know, and I would say it was the mother book for me, orthopedics, was this book. Therapeutic Exercises, Foundations and Techniques. I bought it, seventh edition because it is the Indian edition, right? Kolbi Krishna and Boston, right? So, this book, you know, all the regional orthopedics, fractures, all the medicine topics, everything is covered good in this book. So I think everyone who is watching this video must you know, buy this book and use it for all the topics, right? The second book that I say you can follow is this book. I will give you the picture somewhere here. So I collected this book from library and I photocopied it for my own purpose and then I divided the book in two parts. Now the first part contains all the regional orthopedics and the second part contains all the fractures. Right? So this book applies and Solomon's system of orthopedics and trauma is a very important book. Now why it's important? Because you know, in our syllabus and also what I've covered in the previous year examination question, everything, you know, all the topics I've found in this book. Yes, this book does not contain the physiotherapeutic aspects, but all the medical knowledge, you know, will get through this book. And for physiotherapeutic purpose, you have this qualification, right? And the third book, I think everyone follows this book. And I also followed this book in third year and also parts, you know, for the final year, this book. Essential Orthopedics, my issue. Everyone knows this book, everyone knows it, right? So, in these three books for orthopedics. And now for topic wise, I will say some other books. You can follow these books. These are very, you know, good books for that specific topic that I have followed. Are First, for fracture, you know in our syllabus there is long bone fracture for upper extremity, lower extremity and dislocation for basically two joints, shoulder joint and knee or patellar dislocation, right? So and other than that there is spinal fracture. So except the dislocation part all of the fracture, I have followed this book. Treatment and Rehabilitation of Fracture, Stanley Hoffenfeld. Now, what I have done, completed the fracture medical part, like what are the mechanism of injury, what are the investigations, you know, if you are doing an X-ray, what are the views you are going to watch, everything, what are the management protocols from the Apple book, right? And I have studied this book for physiotherapy protocols. 
this you know if you just go through this book the language is so easy and you know point wise every factor is same specific points and the languages are very simple so you can follow this book and you will get a very good idea about the rehabilitation protocol after every fracture right and this book i chose also for two other purposes the first purpose was the basic concepts of fracture and fracture healing what are the exercises that you are giving why are you giving this book contains all that the second reason was the biomechanics of the appliances right a doctor is using after fracture like as an example of stress sharing device cast what are the biomechanics how it is used what are the rehabilitation after you know placing a cast and for stress shielding device like in compression plate how the healing is taking place what are the rehabilitation important points that you should take care of it's all given in this book so elaborately you know but also in easy language so i preferred this book for fractures now this is a very important topic and you know this topic you are going to get in dpr also but for amputation there are many books are going to find this topic right first i want to mention you know the neuro sullivan book you know you can find it there very good in detail uh, but there are also another book sundar if you are following sundar for dpr you can also find it there it, it was also written there good but the book that i have personally followed was this book there for mpps barbara engstrom now this book why i have followed this book you know you will know when amputation is taking place what are the reasons and what are the physiotherapy management in every stage like if it's due to vascular disease like you know diabetic neuropathy or something like that what are the pre operative management and assessment pre operative assessment and management post operative rd assessment and management pre prosthetic assessment and management post prosthetic assessment and management positioning techniques wheelchair transfers how to bandage what are the dynamic stump exercises why are you doing those exercises it's all written in this book and the most important thing the language again is very easy and if you follow the physiopedia if you go there and search your application in the reference you will also find this book so you can follow this book if you want to know details about the application right okay so the next important topic i think is peripheral nerve injury it also in neuro also in dpr so for peripheral nerve injury i followed two books right the first book i think everyone knows the gladys samuel raj you know this book physiotherapy in neuro conditions gladys samuel raj it's you know the chapter is also short and i would say if you follow with uh, youtube videos and all you will get an idea but the second book i have followed and i found it interesting because of two reasons again the book name is peripheral nerve injury an anatomical and physiological approach for physical therapy intervention by stephen j car right now who have chosen this book first you know regional neuropathies like carpal tunnel syndrome carpal tunnel syndrome and so on this book has covered all those in details 
and what are the physiotherapy management, advanced physiotherapy management, and what are the current evidence based practice. It's all given in that book. For second reason is that you know the peripheral neuropathy, right? GPS, CIDP, diabetic neuropathy, polyneuritis, ataxia, all of this also given in this book. So you can follow this book. It's a good book, right? And many I have seen many of my friends follow this book. I also followed this book. It's a good book, and this book is named as Clinical Orthopedic Rehabilitation by Brodsman and Wilk. See, again, I followed this book because I found it interesting, and it's you know like every page has like full of knowledge inside this book. So why I followed this book, there are specific topics that I think I found interesting. The hand injuries, the total hip replacement, the total knee replacement, and all the some regional topics like you know jumper's knee, short note, uh, neurotibial band syndrome, anterior knee pain. These are specific topics you will find in this book with their rehabilitation purposes. And also, you know, very important questions like ACL injury. This repeats year after year. So, this book has all the protocol, Rosman and Wheel protocol, like this, and it describes all the exercises, all the protocols by week wise, day wise, so on. So, for a detailed concept for that, those specific or those important topics, you can follow this book. Else, you can also follow the, you know, I have mentioned earlier, the Colby Kishner, there are also, you know, that book is also good and that book also, you know, gives you more chart wise and it, it's, I would say, easier for me, but you can also follow this book, right? So, yeah, that's all the books that you can follow in orthopedics, mainly, but there are some other books I want to mention. You know, for reference purposes, and uh, I don't have the book with me, but I can tell you the name, and I can also, you know, show you the picture somewhere in the screen. So, if you want to follow that book, it's up to you, right? So, the first book I want to mention is the Trauma Plating Systems, Biomechanical, Material, Biological, and Clinical Aspects by Amen Hussein Goheria. Now, this book. You know, I mentioned earlier for fracture rehabilitation in Stanley Hopkins field. That book contained all of the important aspects of fracture. But for the external appliances or the internal appliances like rods or nails or compression plates, what are the biomechanics? You know, how those functions, what are the what should be the distance of the rod? What should be the distance of the interlocking system? What should be the distance of the pins and so on? How it functions? How the healing takes place? If you want to know more elaborately, then you should follow this book, right? The uh, another book I will say this. Yes, this clinical orthopedic rehabilitation. You will find somewhere picture here in the screen, and uh, it's like also Rosman. It's you can follow this book up to you, right? Then this is an important book, Fundamentals of Hand Therapy by Cynthia Cooper. You know, hand rehabilitation, if you follow the subject, is also in general surgery. This is an important topic, hand therapy. So you can follow this book for the specific topic. This book has covered all of that surgery that are performed and what are the rehabilitation after that surgery, day-wise management and all the complications. So you can follow this book for that. Now this is an interesting book and I followed this book um, almost whenever I got stuck with a concept or topic. This book, uh, Nader's Orthopedic Clinical Examination, the third edition book, Joshua A. Clayland. Now. You know, if you go through all other books, there are more and more writings and less, less, less pictures. But this book is like opposite. 
uh, more and more and more pictures, less, 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 right? So when you are starting this book, you are getting a good visual feedback. So everything, you know, is documented in pic picture, right? So whenever you start with a topic, you know, because the writings and, you know, you are not getting that, you can follow this book for better understanding. Now, uh, there is another book, Rehabilitation and Orthopedic Surgery. You can follow this book, you know, specifically there are some in topics that I followed from this book is like ACL injury, clean jack, after specific, you know, important surgery and what are the post-operative management and specifically the name of exercises that you can keep in what weeks, what are the precautions that you should take and all of that. You can follow this book, right? And this, the next book, well, this is a huge book and I could never complete it. But I have seen the book for specific three topics, right? This book is Rawput and Maxim's The Shoulder Edition. Now, in this book, I have followed rotator cuff injury, frozen shoulder, and impingement syndrome. These three topics I have followed from this book is given elaborately. Evidence based practice are there, so you can follow this book for you know an extra age. And the next book, this is an important book. Okay, this book is called Rehabilitation of the Hand and Upper Extremity, sixth edition. Scarver, you know, this book is very good. All the you know current rehabilitative approach, all the physiotherapy approaches are given. What are the advanced approaches? You know, very vast, or the research is very vast. You know, so this book is very vast. Every topic is written, you know, very vast way. The language is also very tough, right? So, I have followed this book for three basic, I would say, topics for you know, shoulder pathology, frozen shoulder. What are the exercises? I followed the exercises part because. This book mentioned all the current approaches, right, in frozen shoulder. The second thing I followed from this book, the rehabilitation of hand surgery. I have to, I have taken some notes from this book, and uh, you know, book is elaborated. You can skip those part, but the topic, you know, you can't ignore, and I must say you can't. That is the C R E S. It's a very, very, very important topic. You know, it comes under every subject for final year physical therapy. Complex regional pain syndrome. This book has given the CRPS very elaboratively, you know, very evidence-based practices are there, everything. And so you can follow that for that particular topic. Last the therapeutic exercises by Elizabeth Grant. This book is not so cool, I would say. Um, you can follow this book for you know many exercises, many exercises. What are the name of the exercises? Because you know what we write is active range of motion of knee or active range of motion of shoulder. But the specific naming of the exercises, if you want to give specific names to impress the examiner you can follow this book and also in this book there are day wise management week wise management what are the name of the exercises different names and all of that you can follow this book right so yeah these are all the books that i have followed if you think there are other books that you have followed you can mention in the comment box below you can also join me in the telegram channel link will be given in the description box and if you like this video please like share and subscribe to the channel and also press the bell icon so you get notified when i upload the video in the next video it's neurology and neurosurgery